I think with Down syndrome, um, a lot of people uh, look at it as a, as a fairly uh, mild disability, so they kind of forget about them and they don't really get to shine anywhere. Well, Down syndrome people are probably the most heart loved people out there. Are they simplify the world? We complicate it. So, who's really lucky? All right, Greg and Dalen, thank you so much for joining us and being in this beautiful home with you. We're so happy to be here. Now, first question, can you introduce and tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, this is my son, Dalen, and um, his proud dad, Greg. Uh, we were uh, born and raised in Grand Prairie, Alberta. And six years ago, we moved to Calgary. Uh, Dalen started school here uh, three years back uh, in Legacy High School. Uh, and that's what got this thing rolling. Um, the day I took him in there, I... Uh, you know, I was driving all, away from him after this first day and it, it pawned on me that he's getting older. In three years, he's going to be an adult and he's going to have to go live on his own. So that's how this comes to mind. What inspired you to build Dalen's place? I mean, look around, it's just so beautiful. What inspired you? You know, with the, when, when we were young teenagers, we were pushed out the door and to find our way in life. Well, this is my way of making sure that he gets to find his way in life. So yeah, there's going to be three boys in, in the one house and, and three girls in the other house and then four caregivers. Uh, so seven, and that's why there's seven rooms in, uh, seven master suites in each house. Amazing. Oh my gosh, Greg, so look at this place. It's absolutely stunning. Tell me about everything right here. Well, we, we decided to create a nice and wide open work spot for the, for the kids, right? Yeah. So, the initial um, idea was to have two kids sitting there while the other two are cooking. I love it. And then the other two would do the dishes while the other two uh, would, would watch, right? So everybody's learning something by, for breakfast, for lunch, and by supper. Yeah. And they're getting that, that independent feeling and, and learning. And we also did a nice balcony and a barbecue out there. So oh, nice. We built for the boys' house, we built a nice fire pit. And yep. for the girls' house, we built a garden. Perfect. So that they can both uh, share each other's. Yeah. yeah, so residents can go back and forth you to betcha. each home. Okay, yeah, yeah. amazing. So we have some bedrooms here now? Yeah, so we'll start over here in these ones. Okay. These are the caregivers when we originally started. We wanted the two caregiver rooms with TVs in it. So uh, they, all, all seven rooms have master suites. You know, if they want their, you know, their private time, the kids are sleeping, at least the caregivers can be up here, support yeah. workers can be up here. Uh, having their own time and getting to rest as well. Yeah, beautiful. I love the colors that you picked. I like the grays. It's nice and neutral and... Well, and that's the thing with the boys too. We, we wanted to make it feel more masculine as yeah. well, right? So, yeah. So what we did, we put the next, or we made this room as a playroom for the kids. So yeah. three fold table, nice open couch, um, and then the four bedrooms. Do you want to show us your room? Can you take us to your room? Dalen, I love it. So what we wanted to do, so every room down here will have a feature wall color. So Dalen's picked the blue blue room. And then these rooms are quite a bit bigger than the rooms upstairs. As well, we put the nook in here for their computer. Um, so when, oh, nice. say we have three boys down there and one of the three wanted to have their time out. Yeah. And then come down here and you shut the door. They can FaceTime their mom, their dad, their brother, their sister. Yeah. And be alone, have their own time. This okay. one here will be, this one here will be more of a gray color. Yeah. And then you got a green and, a, and another shade of blue. Awesome. So the house is 4,200 square feet. Wow. And seven master suites. And like I said, we, we wanted to make it more roomy for so it yeah. makes them feel, I guess they got their own space too. Exactly. Yeah. And do you get to check out the girl's house? You betcha. Yeah. Okay, so now we're in the girls' space. I already love the front entrance. Now, can you talk about the security of these homes? Yeah, well, we got the, we got the ring systems up there first so we can see who's coming through the door. Okay. Um, at night, the, the girls will put the alarm on. So this saves the, the kids from entering or exiting. Um, you know, we can know where the, where the access is coming from. Have peace of mind. Have a peace of mind. Yes, yeah. all right, okay, and then we <laughs> this is so my jam. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. This is like girl paradise. <laughs> a little more girlish, yes. It's so, I love it. It's feminine, but yet it's, it's everything. It's perfect. Look at this. Oh, just the little details, like the furry pillows and, you know, it's, it, this feels just like girl town. <laughs> right? You know, in the fireplace, it makes it a more yeah. of a cozy feeling yeah. too, right? So they're cooking their own meals, doing their own laundry. 
They do it all, yeah, yeah. and they just, they're just being supervised, in other words, right? And eventually, hopefully, they can do it all by themselves, and they don't even need to have somebody around. And that's the idea. It's like a, almost a schooling for Down syndrome kids. Oh, this is amazing. Well, oh. and so the idea down here, we want to do is do a craft room for the girls. Yes. Uh, paintings, and you know what? Maybe the boys will be over here doing the same thing with them. So once okay. again, the rooms are quite a bit bigger than what you see upstairs for the caregivers. Yep. Uh, this is why we built these homes for them, so that they do have more of their independence. And again, I love all the light and the high ceilings. Like even though we're in the basement, it feels so airy and light. Okay, so Greg, is there a time frame on how long a resident can stay? Uh, not at all. You know, this is, place was built to be actually their home. So we're looking for them that, you know, have the confidence and, and find their way in life. Um, so, you know, if this, if this is going to be more than a year or the whole rest of their life, this is an open door for them. So Greg, you guys have a little bedtime routine that you do Yeah, bedtime or when we say goodbye. Um, you know, we just, uh, it's just something that keeps both of us really happy and makes us feel good too when, when we're staying at night. Uh, and David, best friends? Who loves me? 